find the equation of locus of a point which is at a distance 5 from a point a 4 comma minus 3 here we need to find the locus of a point which is at a distance of 5 units from a so we have to take a point p x comma y be a point on the locus such that the distance between this point p and a is 5 units so we have to take p a is equals to 5 units p a or a p is equals to 5 units so now we will write it a p is equals to 5 units so we have to find the distance between two points using the distance between two points formula which is square root of x1 minus x2 whole square plus y1 minus y2 whole square here let us consider this as x1 y1 and x2 y2 and substitute in the formula of pa so before that we will square on both sides for this so that the root is eliminated so p a square is equals to x1 minus x2 whole square plus y1 minus y2 whole square now let us substitute these values in p a square so in place of x1 we are writing x minus x2 is 4 whole square plus y plus 3 whole square is equals to 5 5 square is 25 So now we will expand this in the form of a minus b whole square which is a square plus b square minus 2ab and this as a plus b whole square which is a square plus b square plus 2ab. Here the value of a is x and b is 4. In this one the value of a is y and b is 3. So now we have expanded these two equations. So now let us combine these. So we can write it as x square plus y square plus 16 plus 2 times 4 is 8x and 2 times y is 6y. 2 times 3 is 6, 6y. Now x square minus 8x plus 16 plus y square plus 6y plus 9 and transpose this 25 on this side. This is minus 25. So x square plus y square here plus 16 plus 9 is 25. 25 minus 25 is 0. So the remaining equation will be x square plus 8x plus y square plus 6y is equals to 0. So the equation of the locus of the point P which is at a distance of 5 units from A is x square plus y square minus 8x plus 6y is equals to 0. A 1 comma 2, B 2 comma minus 3 and C minus 2 comma 3 are the three points and a point P moves such that p a square plus p b square is equals to 2 p c square show that the equation to the locus of p is 7 x minus 7 y plus 4 is equals to 0. So here it is given that this these are the three points and there is a point p which is moving such that that is satisfying this equation p a square plus p b square is equals to 2 p c squares. So let us consider a point p x comma y so which which is satisfying this equation p s square plus p b square is equals to 2 p c square and p is moving such that p s square plus p b square is equals to 2 p c square now we have to find the distance between p and a and distance between p and b and distance between p and c then substitute in the formula of p a square plus p b square is equals to 2 p c square. So we will find it using distance between two points formula which is square root of x minus x, x1 minus x2 whole square plus y1 minus y2 whole square. So for finding p a square we have to consider this as p x1 y1 and a as x2 y2. So substituting in the distance between two points formula and squaring it so we will get p a square is equals to x minus x minus 1 whole square plus y minus 2 whole square again we now we need to find p b square p b square means we have to consider 
this as x1 y1 and b as x2 y2 so pb square will be x minus 2 whole square plus y plus 3 whole square now we have to find pc square P, to find pc square we have to consider p as x1 y1 and c as x2 y2 so pc square will be x minus of minus 2 plus 2 whole square plus y minus 3 whole square now we have pa square pb square and pc square so the equation given in the question is pa square plus pb square is equals to 2 pc square so we will substitute in this equation the value of pa square plus pb square and 2 pc square so first let us write pa square which is x minus 1 whole square plus y minus 2 whole square plus pb square pb square means x minus 2 whole square plus y plus 3 whole square is equals to 2 times of pc square pc square is x plus 2 whole square plus y minus 3 whole square now we have a x minus 1 whole square y minus 2 whole square x minus 2 whole square y plus 3 whole square and x plus 2 whole square and y minus 3 whole square so these are in the form of a minus b whole square and some are in the form of a plus b whole square so we will expand it using the formula of a minus b whole square and a plus b whole square so first let us expand x minus 1 whole square which will be a square minus 2ab plus b square x square x square minus 2x plus 1 and now we will expand x y minus 2 whole square which is in the form of a minus b whole square so y square minus 4y plus 4 now let's expand x minus 2 whole square which is x square minus 4x plus 4 now we need to expand y plus 3 whole square so y square plus 6y plus 9 now 2 times of we have to expand x plus 2 whole square which is x square plus 4x plus 4 now y minus 3 whole square y square minus 6y plus 9 now if we observe here we can add it x square plus x square is 2x square and y square plus y square is 2y square then minus 2x and minus 4x is minus 6y and we can add minus 4y plus 6y will be plus 2y then 1 plus 4 is 5 5 plus 4 is 9 9 plus 9 is 18 now on the right hand side we will multiply the whole equation with 2 so that will be 2x square plus 8x plus 8 plus 2y square minus 12y plus 18 here we can cancel 2x square is equals to 2x square so 2y square and 2y square will get cancelled now the remaining terms are minus 6y minus 6y minus 2 plus 2y minus 6x plus 2y plus 18 is equals to 8x minus 12y plus 26 so transposing all all the equation on the right hand side to left hand side 8x minus 12y plus 26 that will become minus 8x on the left hand side and this will be plus 12y and minus 26 now minus 6x minus 8y 8x will be minus 14x and 2y plus 12y is 14y 18 minus 26 is minus 8 now we can take 2 common in this equation or minus 2 we can take common so we can write it as minus 2 into 7x minus 2y plus 4 is equals to 0 now transfer, transposing this minus 2 on the right hand side that will be 0 so the equation will be 7x minus 7y plus 4 is, is equals to 0 Therefore, the equation of the locus is 7x minus 7y plus 4 is equals to 0. <laughs>